Welcome everyone to Final Fantasy Randomizer here on RPG Limit Break. This is the semi-lower finals, lower bracket semi-finals, however you want to say that, admin bracket semi-finals. <laughs> <laughs> here. That tracks. But that, that's right, for the Final Fantasy Randomizer Winter Tournament 2024, Winter Robot Wars Chaos Wing X. God, I love that name. It's so goofy. <laughs> it's so good. I'm your host, Dark Moon, here along with Luffy in the booth. You got Giga Tracking Luffy. What are we expecting today besides from what I see? A solo thing? <laughs> I mean, I see this and I'm reminded of the immortal words of Mr. T from Rocky 3. What is the prediction? Pain, I think, comes to mind. Um, although, I mean, this will probably be fine. We got two extremely qualified runners here. Two of my good friends, Chanigan and Pickles and Beer, uh, doing the solo thief nonsense, which we are all here for. And whether we want it or not, we're getting it and we're going to be here and enjoy it. It's going to be a good time. I mean, honestly, with the way that these flags work, yes, it's solo thief. But with a solo thief that has fighter armor, is going to eventually find a tail, is going to yeah. eventually find a Vorpal and a Mazamoon, maybe, if they decide to try and solo the Mazamek. Somewhere mm -hmm. out there are two katanas. There's plenty of other swords that may be blursed. Like, this seems insane, but for these two runners, it's not insane at yeah. all. We'll probably, we'll probably be done in an hour and a half. It'll be fine. I'm thinking, yeah, on the yeah. high end, I'm thinking yeah. 90 minutes here. I mean, yeah. with the fighter armor, like you said, and they also have resist, resist poison, time, and death. So literally half a ribbon, and they wear fighter armor. I mean, you can't ask for anything better on this thief to start, yeah. except maybe legendary weapons. I yeah. mean, it's pretty good. No, no, yeah. You, you, they get they get some good fighter armor on them, some of the stuff that gives some extra protection, and whatever. They don't need the ribbon. They're fine. Yeah, they'll I mean, be all right. I would not doubt that one of the two of them uh, decides to try and go without a ribbon if they don't find one, and just see if they can get through Topher if they have the ability to get in there. Like, they'll just risk it just to get through. Yeah, I mean, this is all about, you know, the speed right here. Mm -hmm. Semi-finals, like you said. We can't mess around. Uh, we're, we're messing around with the party composition, but we're not messing around with the quality of the racing we're going to see tonight, that's mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. And this is, as we said, semifinals. There's only one semifinals match in the lower bracket. It's this one right here. Chanigan vs. Pickles for the right to go face Caleb, our upper bracket semifinals quote-unquote loser. They didn't win mm -hmm. the match, but they're still in this right now here in the admin bracket. Uh, they'll mm -hmm. go face Caleb. One of the two of them will then move on from there to face off against Frighteeth. And I'm rooting for Ka Chanigan, I'm rooting for Caleb, I'm rooting for Pickles and Beer. But there's a small part of me that's rooting for Pickles and Beer a little more because I really want Pickles, Beer, and Fries for the finals. <laughs> I mean, saying. we can do so much fun stuff with right? that, can't we? Yeah, I, I want the tavern platter in finals, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is going to be real good. We, we dropped the race. Well, there we hey, we're go. Going. I was going to say we we're dropped going. it on 10 minutes ago. Here we go. Yep. Uh, and we're rolling. Uh... Small knife plus two. I mean, you know, mm. it costs a dollar. It's it'll do something. Um, I guess it's. Yeah. I suppose it's a thing. Yeah, the copper plus four is like kind of sort of seventy five percent of a silver bracelet. So throw the shield that they can equip anyway on them. Thanks, fighter yeah. armor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I guess worst comes to worst, if bridge isn't in one of these early boxes, they can get to. Then you do mm -hmm. what Chanigan's doing right here, and you go and you grind yourself some imps. Yeah, and also lock and um, temper level one right there. So we have the power bonk that is incentivized. We're going to find that, and that'll be better than temper. But knowing that we at least have temper access, if we promote, Oof. if we can't find that power bonk, it's not bad. The uh, grumps or grimps or whatever you decide to call it, whether or not you have the fun enemy names on, cannot be killed by a single knife hit. So, I mean, they're not taking a lot of damage, but that's two, three hits I've seen on the Grimp so far and still not yeah. down. That's, yeah. mm, that feels bad. Uh, you see the difference here, too. The Chanigan had a five package of imps, and then mm -hmm. we got a couple of Grimps here for Pickles. This will yep. be more XP, but this is going to cost a little bit more time. Take a lot of time. Chanigan got four levels off of that fight, um, immediately gets another one. He discovered that this is right off the power cycle, decides mm -hmm. he really likes that. Cannot mm -hmm. blame him. Pickles decides to reset. That was smart. Mm -hmm. uh, and is just walking away. Um, not saying this is going to decide it, but right now, really like Chanigan's move. Yeah, I feel like a couple this is levels better. here early yeah. is a very smart move. Mm -hmm. And question in chat, who rolled the seed? Darkman, no, this is a Danny nope. special. Yep, Danny. Uh, you know, 
I, uh, I will not lie, uh, up until about 15 minutes before the race was supposed to start, I was off playing Valheim and I got lost <laughs> in the world, so I didn't even have a chance to steal this one. This was all Danny right there. <laughs> I was keeping an eye on you to make you're, sure you you're were gonna, I, was, I, the, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I had the it. utmost confidence that we were going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, though. I know exactly what I was doing, and it was getting distracted. So, Bridge here in Dwarfs and one of the two freebies. So okay. that's going to give him... Um, uh, to give both of them, I should say, a chance to uh, get over and get to Provoka to fight some pirates and get a little more experience and maybe an uh, item worth having. I mean, if, for instance, Bick has the power bonk, which can happen, they can sometimes have, like... Well, no, I guess he can't have a turn-in, but he could have something. There is a <laughs> 1 and 200 and what? 24% chance that he could uh, have the Maza Moon? It could. I mean, it's possible. Could. It's good. We could have an early Maza and have free seed the rest of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, but we have seen it twice <laughs> in the tournament so far, so could, could, could. Yeah. Could. <laughs> I'm fully expecting to see, like, Canoe in the first, like, couple boxes here to just really throw the runners for right. a loop. Could have a defense sword. Could have, um... I don't know. I can't. I, 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 I haven't played these flags in three weeks. Now I can't even remember what Biki can have anymore. So uh, <laughs> there's the adamant. There's a turn in that we'll immediately go and take back to dwarves to hope we can actually get like what I was saying earlier, the power bonk to right, use right. in this fight. <laughs> Chen again running into a little bit of a pack that's annoying. Gets away. Gonna mm -hmm. save up before we go and do the Garland thing. Uh, punching down Garland with this uh, silver dagger might prove difficult. 30 nice. damage? He's I don't fine. know. Oh, he should be fine. Ah, he's 19, fine. 19, that's tw uh, it's 39. Mm-hmm. Garland is missing. We're up to 59. Uh, 82? 82, thank you. Ma suddenly it was math. 84? <laughs> no, that was Garland hitting for two. Uh, we're we're up over 100 yeah, now. Over 100. 110-ish. Yeah, we'll yeah. Anytime now, basically. 120-ish. 140-ish. <laughs> Ish is a very powerful term here. 160-ish. Yep. Wow, Garland, did you... You beefed Ooh, up. Wow. He ate his today. Look yes. at this. <laughs> Someone was hitting that, uh... uh was it the, 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 the stuff from Cartman in South Park, one of the first episodes, <laughs> that bulk up powder? Why oh, do I remember man. that? What was that? Oh, oh my... Whoa! Beefcake, beefcake. No! Beefcake. Princess had the Maza Moon! Dark Moon, what are you... What, what did I do? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, well, this the has gone from, like, 90 <laughs> minutes to, like, hour range now. Like, let's go. I was joking about that showing up. Wow. I mean, there that... are chests. It can happen. That's wild. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay. so the non-zero chance of sudden Mazamoon became a sudden Mazamoon. <laughs> yeah, right? Wow. Well, so our whole opening game is now really wide open here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're doing pretty good there. Um, no, I mean, that doesn't preclude enemies with skills and so forth having a problem, and our thief sure. does not have a lot of MDEF, he only has, what, 127 health, there's yeah. all kinds of problems he could run into, but right now, things are feeling really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I think, I think Chanigan might have got so excited he forgot to go turn in that TNT. No, he but... did! TNT and Adamant didn't bother yeah. with either of them. That or he's <laughs> just expecting that he's gonna have to, like, get Canal and Ship and do it that way. Ship yeah. is probably probably going to be early. This is not a bad bet. Mm, it, chances are it's here in one of these well, There you go! Yeah, so, exactly. never punished. Yep. And oh. Canal! Oh, what? Okay, can we get the tail? Oh! Uh, okay. Oh! Okay. okay. Er, well, a uh, tail's a turn in, so that herb could be tail. It could be. Could be it tail. Could be. And then I go class change right now and just say screw Instant. it to the world, you know? Yep. Opal yeah. plus two from the Smithy, which Woo! is some really great Woo! right there. I'll take that. Woo! Yep, there we go. Chanigan going to do his turn ins now that he has that ship. Getting actually a nice, I'd say probably almost a minute lead on Pickles at this point, just from the routing he's been doing. Yeah, that dip mm -hmm. to Matoya to get the ship is going to mm -hmm. save him a little mm -hmm. bit of time here. But very early in the scene, and once Pickle sees that Moss, he's going to mm -hmm. roll his eyes and say, why didn't I do this first? <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Pickle's feeling just a little bad here, but that's okay. It's it's not an insurmountable lead. Solo solo and a uh, character into... Well, there's useless. A uh, solo character in the Topher uh, is going to be one of those things where, you know, you're just like, anything can happen. I'm just going to hold A and pray for most of this. 
Yep. Yeah. This is the right character to solo with. Yes. Uh, the thief's evasion is very high. Very nice. Uh, and it's also juiced up in these flags, so we're going to like to see that quite a bit. Shenanigan bounces um, out to do the herb turn-in, which is the right call here. It's the docks on the lower side. You can do the checks, and then you're pretty much done on the Circle C at that point, and you can venture out from there. Yep. He didn't even bother going to do the pirates either, so he's, mm -hmm. just, he's, just, he's just saying I'm not going to even bother until I have to. Well, I mean, what are, what are they likely to have right now? Like, not again, super much. no, yeah, like the uh, 190 chests are nothing, and Bicky is basically a nothing right now, so right. I, I get it. You don't have the spells. You, you're really hoping you can get the tail. And we got... Power, power bump's also oh. nice. I'm not complaining right. about having that right now. Seven minutes and 15 seconds in, folks. We got Masa and Powerbonk for a solo thief. Let's go. I mean, Masa, Powerbonk, and an Opal plus two. Yeah. At this point, I kind of don't care about finding anything else. I mean, you, they can take... A ribbon would be nice. <laughs> ribbon be good. I mean, would Roost, be it would be fine. Roost, but yeah, but at this point, there's a part of me that's like, well, I kind of got everything I need. Like, yeah. I could, I could, if I was really feeling like I had to save the frames... I could see doing a dive with this set of gear right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just take a look and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Nuke level two is nice for when we promote, which, mm -hmm. you know, we run into some unrunnables or we need a sweeper. Yep. So that's not bad. Yeah. There's good spells if, he, if they decide to class change, if they get the chance to class change, if they have mm -hmm. the ability to class change. I mean, depending upon where floater is and where tail is, you may or may not have a class change easily accessible. And they may not want to risk the time to take get it if they don't get it immediately. So, mm -hmm. we have a lot of game here still to cover. We're not saying it's done yet. I'm just saying, if I had to go in with this party the way it is right now, I would I would clench a little, but I wouldn't be sad. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Pickles doing the pirates. Shanigan checking out the marsh attic. Um, marsh has been hit or miss in these flags. Sometimes it's the answer. Sometimes the big time sink. I like doing marsh checks. I mean, it never punished me for doing marsh checks. Mm -hmm. Like, there, there is the, the decision about whether you want to do this or if you want to do the t first two floors of Earth, banking on the right. fact that the rod will probably be there. And usually rod is there, because that's how the game lays itself out. <laughs> yep. I've seen rod in the first two floors of Earth in these flags more times than I care to admit. Mm -hmm. um, Agreed. It happens. This is this is these flags. But at the same oh. time... Oh, well, there's a reset. Okay, or, 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 or Bicky can have the rod, and now suddenly right. Pickles with the advantage. <laughs> Pickles with the advantage, but I, I think if Chanigan doesn't find the rod or anything else here to, like, push him somewhere else, uh, mm. he's eventually going to go do Bick anyway. He's just kind of following pathing that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, if you got the tail, you'd go class change, and then you'd kind of sail down around the world and come from come to Provoca from the upside, you know? Right, right. So. Pickles expect going to sell that x cow, getting some cash. Well, yeah, no, that's that's worth it. He can sell the <laughs> Mazamu. Don't. Don't. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Until we find a katana plus five and we're all excited. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then sell the Mosmoon, sure. But <laughs> right now, don't do that. No, do not do that right don't now. Don't do that. Pro, we're just going for the pro. I like that. Find that pro ring plus five. You're right here. That is the worst armor shop to come back to. So yeah. if you can sell that x mm -hmm. and get a pro ring right now, like you're going to probably find one in a box. But to know you have it, I mean, it's, it's added armor and it resists death. It's good. So I just want to point out the wizards were punching for a whole one damage. <laughs> There's a slab, yay. Uh, the punching power of that Opal Cheerio. It, right? That's the thing. Like, normally you're in here and you're like, oh man, solo thief against those wizards. The wizards, for whatever reason, always punch hard. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's cruel because they're an early game enemy and you're just forced... Oh, hey, there's that ice armor that we now don't care about. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it's it, it is. But then to see them like who normally hit for like thirty to sixty against your characters, and they're only hitting yeah. for one, you're like, yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> good. Yep. Yep. Let's see. I'm gonna be chanting and check levels three and four. Ice three, Brack fire three at level three. Now, if that ice armor had been blurst up, I might right. have seen about whether or not it was actually worth putting on instead of the opal. It, there's there's a chance. I don't hate that Iron Helmet plus six either no. right there in that shop, to be Chanigan honest. Chanigan bought one. Yep. He got that and an Iron Shield and there's something else. I think... All I'm right. not sure if he's still wielding the, the wood sled or if he's upgraded to the iron sled, but... Mm -hmm. So only the slab was really in there. Not a lot of... Not a lot saved here, but it looks like Pickles is going to do the same dive. So yeah. once again, never punished. Yep. Yeah. High five on the way through the uh, the marshes of Marsh. Mm -hmm. um, As opposed to the marshes of Marsh, different game. 
<laughs> we did see a nuke at level two. Pickles did check it. Uh, that was the only really spell of note. So no fast for the runners in the first four levels here, but power bonk and Mazamoon and Opal Cheerio. Oh, and didn't notice we, it was we, we really don't care. The spiders were unrunnable. Chanigan didn't notice. So he's oh. of course taking this fight. Oh, oh uh, all has to do the whole walk. Too. Yeah. Wow. Rough. That's rough. Yeah. Improved Dark has been a flag, and, and that's been turned on in these, uh, that's been just, really can just shut you down as yep. a melee. It's super scary. Yep, and when all you can do as a thief is melee, well, mm -hmm. that's that right there. So he's yeah. going to go check the old men, see what item they're holding. He's still mm -hmm. hoping that something that he needs for clearance is here. Now, if it's something that pushes him in a different direction from that rod... Bear in mind, it's Shard Hunt that might not punish Chanigan still. Mm -hmm. But right now, you are correct. Pickles with a slight advantage because of mm -hmm. that rod, even if he is a few minutes behind. Yep. And not even that much behind. A couple minutes. Nah, this, yeah. this is very, very Crown. even right here. Crown for 17. Sell that x -Cal. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's just a little bit short. Yeah. Well, he's a lot a little short more, now. A little <laughs> more short. Yeah, a little more short now, but... Yeah. Oh, this yeah. housing market, my goodness. <laughs> And there's that Excal cell, and he has the money now, so he can go okay. buy that crown when he exits out again. Doesn't bother okay. with the magic slots, because who cares? Yep. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, eh. thanks. Nah, silver hat means nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Resets. Doesn't go back for the crown. Interesting. I, I, I... Crown? That could be our tail. Could be it, tail. it could be it could be the roost stick, but we do know that it is not gonna give us access to anything that we really need yet. That was four encounters in quick succession. That's gross. That's a lot for the sea, yeah. too. That is yeah. a lot. So Chanigan is gonna have to sail back in, feels bad. Or not. Hmm. Okay. Well, I feel less good about this. This is giving pickles time. Yep. So, question in chat from Multiflorum. The, uh, so, really easy to review the bonuses and malices. We have a solo thief that has fighter armor and resists poison, time, and death. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's uh, it. We don't know what anyone else has. We don't care. It's <laughs> <Yep>. That's it. <laughs> we have our runners with an opal... Uh, Cheerio already for some great armor. The Masa from the Princess. Masa plus um, four, was it? I think it was just plus one, but a oh. one and a four look very similar when they menu very fast. There's our Katana. I think Kachanigan will probably go back for that. Maybe. Nope. Okay. He's happy yeah. with his Masa then. Like, yeah. I would have been I would have been on the fence for it, but I can absolutely agree with resetting out. There's Ooh. our loot. Okay. I feel one like that shows up in Earth all the time, mm -hmm. too. There's one of the two we need. Mm -hmm. Five to one says key is also in Earth, and then we're just in total go mode at that point. Right. We'll point out, though, we're doing trap shards, so we haven't come across any boxes with an X on it yet. Fifteen minutes in, that feels a little strange. Well... But I'm sure that they will come fast and furious at some point. Honestly, I was about to critique Chanigan on his routing, but he decided to go down first, so I'm not going <laughs> to say anything against it, even though... But yeah, no, you are right. But the way that these flags work, I am used to not getting any shards until like 30, 45 minutes in yeah. sometimes. It's just, it doesn't do its thing. It's just weird. Flame show plus two. That's some good armor right there. That is. And he takes it. Now, the only thing that we're actually really concerned with at this point is getting that key. Yep. And then we'll just go, and because the shards are marked mm -hmm. and allocated formations, that's our grind right there. There's one. So you can see what, oh. how it's marked. Um, is it a shard, or is it? It's not going to be Mazamoon. Uh, uh. This is gross. Yeah. I mean, he's not taking any damage, but it's gross. Yeah. It'll be good levels, though. He'll be it happy. Be. Gators yeah. hit very hard, and they're annoying. Oh no, I've been muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do hit hard, but that's they have to hit. Yep, And he's got true. so much evasion right now that... Oh, ouch. Ooh, Woo, spicy. Okay. Wow, they rolled pretty high, too. They, all, yeah, they, this, they rolled... this pack all had above 200 HP. Jeez. They did. They rolled chonk. They... Oh! <laughs> Good thing you start with some heal pots, Chanigan. Yeah, right? <clears throat> all right. Why are you menuing somebody? You only have one more character. Cow, yeah. <laughs> Who are you menuing to, Chanigan? You only have one character. <laughs> <laughs> it's all muscle memory. <laughs> 
I can. It's fine. It was just a mis mis misclick of his controller. It was just funny. Yeah. Oh. Uh, of course, the problem is you spent all that time on that, and if you get nothing but that one shard in here, do you walk it out? Yeah. I I'm probably not, right? I mean, it's right there if we got to come back for one shard later, so probably not. Probably not. It really depends but... on what we find in these next four boxes. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Pickles taking that unrunnable Cobra fight, keeping that Katana, so we'll see if that makes any kind of a difference at all later. I'm trying to see any kind of variance between these two runners, which are, you know, slapping hands and high-fiving each other as they walk around the world, doing Channing, basically the same thing. Chang and getting the uh, Zeus bonk out of that chest and takes it and organizes for it. Uh, mm -hmm. Not a bad call right there, all things considered. Uh, that mm -hmm. is actual casting that he can do. Yeah, any AoE is friendly AoE for this yes. thief, which is not going to have magic till they promote. <clears throat> now, it's doubtful that it would have been faster to cast Zeus a couple times instead of just do what he did with swinging, so mm -hmm. that was fine right there. And he's level 10. I would feel real... There's a bottle. I feel mm -hmm. really bad, like, resetting out of these levels. Yeah, like, I don't think he leaves the levels now that you point that out. That's yeah. a good point. I mean, he'll, he'll be level 6 again, or 7, when he does that. Ooh, Frost could be a little spooky. Thankfully, he has that flame shield. Right, right, right. Okay. Good time for that flame shield to show up. Indeed. Oh, come on, Thief, you had one job. And a meat stick. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that's oh, even nicer. Okay. Yeah, we got our AoE cover. We're missing a black shirt only right now. <clears throat> no one shall ever defeat me, blah. And oh wow. I expect I expected oh, oh. no. There, good thing you got that mage stick when <laughs> yeah, right? you Wow! Never punished. Wow. <laughs> and And the shard is Oh, mage just bones. Easy. Yeah, just bones. With this mage stick now, this is this is solid. And no problem whatsoever getting through this. And a shard, and yeah, he's walking out. So this will give Pickles a chance to catch up and take mm -hmm. the lead. Because Chanigan yeah. will have to walk this out, and he's pretty much stuck only being able to go to Bicky. And he's, I'm sure there's a little small part of him going, dang it. <laughs> I can hear the swearing in French from down here. Yep, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> A little spicy English thrown in as well. <laughs> Some colorful choice of words. Yep. Now, I mean, the walk out has been, what, 20 seconds? It's not a big it's, deal. It's uh, fine, yeah. Yeah, depending upon how long it takes for uh, Pickles to do the last of the clear, we may see them getting to Rod Plate right around the same time. Mm hmm So. Yeah, that was a very generous walk, multi and for sure. Thavian does point out something good that I think I missed the first time it was said, but it's here now. With those two AoE items, he's going to have a much easier time with the pirate fight. Like, yep. faster time. Maybe not easier, pirates are nothing. But faster mm -hmm. time with the, 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 the either AoE he decides to menu to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Quick save Arino. And he's off. Yeah, going the last place he said he got is Bicky. He's gonna get that rod and grumble, grumble. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll see if he decides to, you know, go back to Earth, which probably is what he's gonna do. I can't see him really going anywhere else just yet. Maybe he goes back for that crown, but that, yeah, that really so takes him out of the way right now. You do it when you're over on that side for yeah. volcano or ice or floater. Yeah. <clears throat> And there it goes, Mage Stick. I am curious exactly how synced up they'll be when they come back here for this. Also, I really wish we had a, a, a cam for Chanigan. I want to see his face right now. Just the the, the, the the soul exiting the body just a little. Yep. Yeah. Because you know you feel it. You feel it right there. And you're just like, really? <laughs> okay. Chanigan not even wasting time with armor shops now. He feels very comfortable where he He's is. Good. That does not surprise He's me. good. Was he going to get a pro ring with death protection that he already has? Oh, yeah. His armor's fine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> that is we true, do. sir. So we, we do, do have that emote for it. Chanigan true. emote. Yep, that's right. <laughs> the soul leaving the body emote. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah.
right, we are now even on AOE with the uh, Mage mm -hmm. Stick and the Zeus Bomb for Pickles. Gonna fight go should through not the be pirate. difficult. Doesn't even get darked. Nice. So Pickles with a, I'd say, one minute lead right here. Yeah, give or take. Yep. Mage Stick's still gonna be the best for this pack because the uh, mm -hmm. Crawls will die to it too. Eventually. Or not. Or not. Maybe. I was really afraid they were about to, like, mute and dark him. <laughs> That'd be wild. That would be, like, really? Come on. There we go. Okay, so. Let's see. We're going to see now. I want to see time at st uh, Rod Plate. 2307. 2307. Or 2207. Okay. Because yeah, now talking... we are synced up. Yeah, we're talking, what, 45 seconds here, depending mm -hmm. on any encounters? Maybe. <clears throat> Channing on a nice hero run so far. Yep. That is a gorgeous hero run. What is mm. that? Wow, look at that. It's the... Yeah, we're not even 30 seconds. Look at that. Beautiful. That was the whole floor. Releases the <laughs> bottle accidentally, goes to the rod, comes through. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Still on that hero run. High five through the doorway. Skips the shard. Free run. Tavian's saying Shanigan has to go back for the crown. Shanigan doesn't have to go back for the crown. That's the only thing. He could decide he doesn't care about it, doesn't want tail or whatever else is going to be behind it. Um, so, okay. in theory, he doesn't have to go back for it. And that's the ruby there over in the Lich's closet. Mm -hmm. So that means our last four boxes in Titan or our friend Grandpa Sarda has something to lead to our progression because that's literally all we got left. Yep. That gave us the one thing we needed because there's jack all else. <laughs> <laughs> the last box, too. Like, how funny is right? that? Right. <laughs> the last box. That's the game for you. When that happens, it really makes me feel like, did I do something wrong? Did I miss something? And then when I open it, I just roll my eyes like, okay, yep, there it is. Now Chanigan's in the deep section of the encounter table where he's getting punished for that hero run. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that thing where if, you, if Chanigan has the shards and isn't worried about what the crowd might turn into, he may just not go back for it. Yeah, with the Masa power bonk, no fast that we need to worry about. We really don't even have to promote. It, it's not necessary. It's not. I mean, all we're really thinking that we want is a ribbon and a uh, ruse stick. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the crown is one of those, but I mean, again, we'll, we'll get that when we go back there because we're probably gonna have to go back there, maybe. Well, in it really theory, depends on what Sarda Titan has right here. And in theory, if you pick up the defense and the ribbon, you don't even yeah. have, uh, like, one of the loose ribbons, you don't even need to do the turn-ins for those. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, Nuke is tempting, other things are tempting, but mm -hmm. end of the day, if you're worried about how far ahead the other player may be, and they're both in the Lich fight at the same time, mm -hmm. um, you may just skip it. Yep, I do not think Chanigan check level two. I don't think Chanigan's worrying about no. promotion. I think no. Chanigan's sticking to this thief, and he's not even going to bother promoting. If he runs into the tail, great. But I, I think he's dead set on just doing what he has. So what felt like a two-hour lead became a five-second lead because <laughs> of how good that fight was and those hero runs from Chanigan. Yep. And now he's in the lead, I will yep. point out. <laughs> so that's disgusting. All right, here we go. XP, money. <laughs> Another turn in. Okay. <laughs> Where Channing is probably going, couldn't I have gotten this earlier to not punish me? This is getting very interesting. Yeah. So Sarda probably has something here, unless there's a world where Matoya has... Matoya can't. Matoya's a turn-in. She can't, right? She yeah, can't. She has to be a turn-in. The yeah. only thing she can have that, that they want, really, is the tail. So what is this? Is this canoe, oxyel, or key? <laughs> Or chime. Which one is it? I kind of hope, like, if I'm if I'm wanting to see the players suffer, I'm kind of hoping it's chime. Yeah, me too. Just to make them work even longer for it. And now Pickles is in the lead because Chanigan could not get out of that encounter table. Mm -hmm. There it is. Uh, There's the key you were okay. talking about. So that's go okay. mode. 
I mean, that's mm -hmm. technical go mode. We still need all the damn shards, but that's technical go mode. Yeah. Yeah. That feels really good, too, mm -hmm. because tracking down that would be super annoying. No, and that yeah, opens no. up a whole lot of key locks, which probably, based on the track They'll record do, do of what that. these yeah. boxes look like, yeah. they're going to do yeah. and probably have yeah. some good amount of oh, shards yeah. there. You do. Like, And that's the thing. Like, key hunt is only slightly better than loot hunt because there's mm -hmm. only a couple of rooms that um one that, that, that can't have the key that could have mm -hmm. the loot. So, like, right. you feel you feel okay about this, because, like, <laughs> at least you got both those out of the way. Um, I mean, you feel really good about this, but you would have felt okay with the key hunt over the loot hunt anyway, so. Mm -hmm. So we're going where first? If the encounters would ever stop. Canary Castle first, okay. Do Makes dwarfs sense. on the way out, probably. Yep. Question in chat from DM Stewart. Hello and welcome this evening as well. Um, what were the blur things? Pretty easy. Uh, the thief had fighter armor and resist poison uh, time and death. That's it. That's it. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Resets. And... Goes to okay. Dwarf next. Okay. Yeah, he saved in the middle of the sea, which is smart. So he yep. can just pop, he can basically do what I do in Archipelago when I'm playing a, a game. Reset back out as soon as you're done. Yep, just give the items and just reset back yep. out because it doesn't even matter. You, Shannigan, you, you could have saved a step or two if you'd gone the other way. Don't. I just, I <laughs> literally just, oh, okay. Ooh, uh, okay, so that means we're not finding the canoe. <laughs> Ever. It's, it's going to be, it'll be chime to oxyale to cube yeah. to canoe and like sky three. Yeah. And a ribbon from Matoya. Very nice. And that flame armor uh, is going to be better than that opal. Go figure. That's I was saying, if, if it had blurst up, that was going to be something that you wanted to do a turn in for. What? Chanigan, what? what are you... What? what? You're just... You're doing this to drive me crazy, aren't you? I swear. <laughs> He's sitting there going, I saw the maps Darkman posted. I'm just going to go annoy him. And it's a ribbon plus six as well. Woo! Look at that. So not only is it the best accessory to make you look pretty, it also Ooh. will give you a little bit of absorb. That is sexy right there. Yeah. Oh, and now we're going to go check Toaf. Yeah. He didn't save at the boat, though. I think I might have saved at the boat instead of here, if I'm being meh. Just the so only I could... reason I wouldn't just, if these are unrunnable and you want to reset out of them, which they're not. Okay. I think I would have risked it. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> they were kind of unrunnable. <laughs> unrunnable light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. You know, he's going to be sitting there going after he goes to Maddie and be like, I should have gone and gotten the ribbon first. Mm -hmm. Stupid dazzle gargoyles. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to Elflin now, and then... <laughs> Chenigan just <laughs> resisting all the obvious turn-ins. Yeah. This is a double-dip uh, Martian coming from Marshlock to Chime or something. Oh, stupid. God, I, I hope not. A, I can just see it coming I right mean, now. I mean, I think you're probably right, but even still, I'm like, please no. Ooh. Oh, reset that's back a, for Chenigan, that right? was a bad reset. I mean, yeah. he had to do it, but still, that was, yeah. that was rough. It's, it's fine. That's fine. Game, please. <laughs> Game. That's five in a row. They're all bunched together. Six. six. Wow. All six of them are bunched together very tightly. There this we go. Seems interesting. And this is back and forth here because Changan keeps getting these awful sections of the encounter table, and Pickles has figured out a better way to reset around it. Mm hmm. So. Oh, there's the. Oxy there's that oxy ale we're talking about. Now it's slightly better. You're not going to have to do the back and forth dip. Right. But that's where our progression is. I would not go to Marsh. Yeah, I don't think no. I'm going back to Marsh Lock at no. this point either. No, no, no. Northwest Castle, maybe. I don't see Chanigan doing it especially. No, I've, he, he's not even doing... Oh, wait. No, he hasn't. No. He's not even mm. doing Matoya. He's missing out on that ribbon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Chanigan what? just really just wants to hit the gas right here. He does. He feels like he just needs to go. He must feel behind because of the having to the double rod. dip that rod. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which we know he's not, but he doesn't know that. Yeah, this is strikingly even right here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Pickles is a, a few steps behind because he's not at sea yet. Mm-hmm. But he is. Oh. 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 That's spicy. Okay. 
Well, then. Interesting. Very interesting. So, Pickle's in a good lead right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Pickle's fading Marsh Lock as well, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no yeah Divergence is coming hard here. Yeah, I was, I was going to comment on that, too. Uh, we are not used to seeing a lot of Divergence in these flags. Weirdly, for an all-loose flag set, it feels like, because of the way that they're spaced, everyone is forced on the same path every time. Yep. Yeah, just very, very linear flags. Not always the same path, but, like, we, we were joking earlier about, you know, Oxyale into, uh, into, or Chime into Oxyale into Cube into Canoe, because we saw that, what, 50% of the time? Yeah, it felt it like... It tends to happen, yeah. Yeah, so. Now, the way that Chanigan gets bailed out is if Canoe is somewhere here in C. Yep. Otherwise, that is, that is a big advantage for Pickles right there. Mm-hmm. Now. Oh, there we go. Chanigan, That's... heal, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this encounter table is like. Heal, please. <laughs> yes, uh, DM, we have... Ooh. There's the cube. Okay, so has to come here anyway. Uh, DM, we have uh, marked trapped chests for shards only, not key items. And it's <laughs> allocated formations. Interesting. Apparently someone talked to the Hooray Dwarf? Yes, Pickles and the Hooray Dwarf was bodying him, so we just talked him to get him out of his way. Yeah, Maza for Princess after I joked that they'd get the Maza early. I felt kind of funny about that. <laughs> Commentator blessing, I guess. Whatever. I suppose so, yeah. I mean, it's made the end game a whole lot easier for them to plan out. Yep. I mean, that ice sword would have been nice. Crown now. Okay. Ice sword would have been nice for a class change if they didn't have the Maza already. Right. Of course, rates rolled up enough that the mage stick isn't going to kill them immediately. Should get all but one on this round because that's how the game works. <laughs> Call that the FFR special. There it was. There it is. Oh there yeah, it is. called it. <laughs> like. Like, it was, I wasn't joking. I was like, this is just what's going to happen, because it's just what happens. Yep, yep. Nothing you can do about it. Oh, we got Bubbles holding onto a Mark chest as well, so... Ooh, spicy. What does the spicy lady have? Oh, this could be pain. Uh, unrunnable, too. Yeah, this could be... Oh... Utah. They don't always hit, but when they do, that's damage. Yeah. Terrible turn order, too, by the way. Yeah, no, twice in a row for that. They all got to go. I think he has this. Yeah, he's okay now. Yeah, he's he bailed out. Huge, I mean, yeah, crazy. that was wow. huge experience, though. Channing, can turn around and go talk to that mermaid right now. Yep. No memes. <laughs> Only dreams. Oh my god, he, he takes out Legendary and the other one, but leaves Bubbles alive. Come on, man. They were in his way. <laughs> Mermaids are always in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you hunt them down, okay? She's coming right at me. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pickle's going to do this crown turn in, so let us see oh. if this is the tail. Pro ring plus five, never punished. Yeah. <laughs> Very true, classic gamer. That's right. They all have it coming. And Mermaid's crown gotta go. is ruse. So okay, that's, that's big. We like that quite a bit. It's good. Chanigan could still get bailed out, mm -hmm. <clears throat> or just may not need it. You never know. Yeah. Levels insanely even. Chanigan level eighteen. Pickles level seventeen. And Chanigan's got that extra fifteen thousand from that one fight. So. This is very, very tight. Yeah, Thavian pointing out exactly what I'm saying. R defense is still out there, and they have to look for key items, so Chanigans could still find it. Could also still get a ribbon somewhere around here. Not going mm -hmm. to Matoya may not bite him. It might not, but the Northwest is going to be a little bit of an issue till he goes back there. Yeah, no, he does that, need that to go back. That is important. He does need to go back for that. Probably, anyway. I mean, he, there can be... Well, I mean, he's going to have to. I mean, we're, we're talking, we got to find the shards, so and we Sky's got no, all the boxes. <laughs> we haven't found it. I mean, unless there's a canoe here to send uh, Chanigan off to Volcano and... Right. Yeah. 
No, like, Sky is literally have to be packed full at this point, because we found three. It's a ridiculously low number of shards that we have here. Four! Four! Yay! At least it's a fight he can take. Especially when it doesn't decide to hit him. Now, does he do Kraken? That's the next question. He doesn't have that ruse. He doesn't have a ribbon. That seems risky. It does feel risky. Yep. Um, hmm. If I had a ruse stick, I'd try it. I'd, I'd yeah. be dumb. I would try it. I'd get killed. But I'd try it. Give me, give me five boxes to think about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, unrunnable. We're well, going to get experience, at least. Yeah. Oh, don't let that slow land. Nothing. Thanks for that death protection. That was really helpful. Right. Mm. Improved Dark is on Multiflorum. Uh, yes. He's been punished by it once already. Mm -hmm. We didn't laugh, but we did. We did make some <laughs> ooing noises when it came out. Yep. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> so much experience. Yep. And we know Mech is not going to be... You have Zeus. Go cast this. Okay. Thank you. There, it's... there we go. Oh, and they're running, too. Um, We know Mech can't be in one of these boxes since we already got the Mazamoon. There are not two Mazamoons in the game. So you are safe to check every shard box you want. Mm -hmm. Chime was in Northwest Lock, Saracen. Do you take <laughs> this? Do you run? You're taking it. Yeah. Good man. You want those levels. But yeah, this is a lot of XP in this fight, too. Yeah. Now, we want Canoe and doing these last four chests if we want to see Chanigan not have to immediately go back for that try. Yep. Level 21 feels real good. Oh, yeah, no, he's doing great here. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no. Oh. Not fun. Uh, at least they, they've used that now, so now we're on to something else. Yeah. Wait, what's ogres with an annoying script? Hopefully I don't have too much behind this. All right. Okay, that's two down. Okay, just, just fire two. We're okay. <laughs> just fire two. I still have post-traumatic stress from my duck derby a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the unrunnable whiz hag ars hag with fire two. <laughs> Yeah, half that's... hour to get through this stupid dungeon. That's and that's so a slow sad. death right there, too. Yep. Yeah, yep. no, that's, that's gross. What did he find? Because he was thinking about going in for it, and then... Oh, I guess decided not to. Okay, never mind. And he's even going to kill this fight. He They're wants unrunnable, these too, yeah. Yeah, oh, so... that's right. He has to... So he's going to have to fight it twice now. Yeah. He might have the levels for Kraken after this. I mean, he might. We're he might. 21, this should be 22 at Should the be 22 at this point, yeah. And, I mean, it's not like this is taking Chan again and then do about a time. Pickles is going to have to do the same thing here. Oh, 23. Maybe 24 after this fight. Yeah, he's already got five hits on that monster yeah. right now. Oh, so or... Why not? Or he could get screwed. Because <laughs> slow could. could land. He could. It did. All your hits mean nothing. All your hits mean jack all right now. <laughs> yeah, these... Gur sharks are thick too. They it's... are, but they have absolutely no damage that they're doing. Well, mm -hmm. I say that, but because we got a bajillion absorb right now, they yeah. got to have well north of seventy absorb with all this. Okay, plus one armor. of the two of them should die on the next Zeus. There it was. Ow! Please don't do that again. <laughs> if I'm Chanigan, I'm clenched right now, going, I just saw yeah. more damage than I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> 24. So let's not fight them ever again. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's let's just not. Ooh. And okay, he's go going in. Way. He's... Oh. This could be make or break right here. Yep. Gotta do it. You gotta. I, like it. I agree. <laughs> you gotta, but this could be make or break here. Yeah. I mean, you could try to walk this out, but if you run into another unrunnable Gershark pack or ghosts that decide mm -hmm. to like, blast your face, like, mm -hmm. this is, one way or another, this is the fastest way out of the dungeon. No, nope, I agree. <laughs> I don't debate that point. <laughs> it's So, my dad was a rocket scientist, and I'm, I'm telling you this for a specific reason. He used to put up satellites that he, can't, he couldn't talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. But in one particular instance, they put up a satellite, 
and he looked over at the Admiral, I think, next to him, and was like, well, you're never getting that back, as it sails <laughs> off into the distance. And I kind of feel like that's the, the reason I'm telling this story, is I kind of feel like that's the same way here. You're getting out of this dungeon one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> This is happening, whether we like it or not. Whether you like it or not. not. This is happening. This event is going to take place, so... (laughs) So let's see. Chanigan, no ribbon, no ruse item versus Kraken. Oh, this is... Mm, Good damage. 19! Okay, okay. we can even power bonk now. Yeah, we can. One swing. Oh! Oh, death touch! Oh! oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Wow! Uh, right as I'm thinking, oh no, big deal at all. Oh my! That is what 15 minute time loss right there now. Oh, easy, and all the shards, and all the yeah. levels. Yeah, levels, wow. shards, the uh, cube that he knows where it is. Yeah. And if Pickles is able to get the ruse up and doesn't get touched, um. Yeah. Yeah. No, wow. that's that's it. That's the game right there. Okay. So, I don't want to say that Pickles has won already, because we don't know <laughs> that. The thing I will point out about these flags is that the a single death can be costly. And I'm sorry, my yeah. brain just suddenly had to reboot there for a second. Um, mm-hmm. A single death can be very, very costly. Uh, mm-hmm. We Like, we see people die, uh, like, two or three times and lose five minutes, and they're already saying in chat, well, I'm done. And then yeah. they're right, they've lost by, like, five minutes. Like, sometimes mm-hmm. that happens. This particular instance, a fifth, like, okay, let's say it's only ten minute time loss, but could mm-hmm. be longer. I didn't look at the exact time when he went in there. Like, that could be it. So, right could now, be. right now, me as a person, I'm rooting for Chanigan because I want to see the underdog, like, come <laughs> back, you know? Yeah, it could very easily mm-hmm. have something in Temple of Fiends mm-hmm. do the same thing to Pickles in about 20 minutes. We don't know. For sure. But what we do know is that hurt. That hurt really bad. That was mm-hmm. that was a bruising loss right there. Like, oh, man. That's okay. so rough, too, because mm-hmm. like, you, you see him hitting for like 19, 30 damage. You're feeling real good. Like, let me even throw a power bonk out here. No big deal. And then death touch out of nowhere. Like, and, oh, my. And, yeah, like, you never expect on the bosses, because there's only four of them that you have to worry about in the, in the start of the game. And, yeah. like, they, 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 they never roll skills until, you mm-hmm. know, suddenly they do. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, Chanigan is definitely on tilt a little right now. You can see it with the way he's, like, sailing around the world, trying to figure out where to go. He's go. Oh, no! That ribbon! Yeah. Chan- I I don't... Death Touch for Chanigan's, a, or for Pickles, is a two, 3 and 256. Yep. Okay. Although, wait, they have death protection. They do, but... I mean, it didn't matter. It got through. It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. No, but I'm just saying, like, he, they had death protection. So that's mm-hmm. already should have prevented the death touch. So that should was have. extra. That was extra dumb. Yeah. <laughs> that I mean, was that's just, just cracking doing cracking things right there. He's like, oh, I'm not going to get you with the bajillion hits, but I'll get you when you least expect it. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter if uh, he had. No, it doesn't matter if they had the pro ring. If they didn't, it doesn't matter if they had the yeah. ribbon. They had instant death protection just from being yeah. the thief with the blurs. So yeah. my yeah. chat's debating it right now, but no, that's three and two fifty six. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we have had a long and arduous debate in this community about how death touch or how various touch effects work, uh, and it used to be that a touch effect would function as um, Channing and going for the cube. I don't think mm. he does the full of this dungeon again. Uh, but it used to be that the touch effects were aligned to, weirdly, the weakness of the enemy. So if you fought Undead, for example, Undead's weak to fire, Your de- uh, like if you wanted to protect yourself against their touch effects, you would put on something that would protect against fire damage. Mm-hmm. It was dumb. That <clears throat> Final Fantasy is coded very weirdly. Um, <laughs> that is no longer the case. So when we say that the death protection should have saved them from death touch, that we're just actually being accurate. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Question for Goat's Pirate that went so long about saving. Saracen's kind of answering that right there. He's trying yeah. to save time now, um, but the sea encounters are are not behaving. No. Yeah. He there's like six of them in a row on the sea, and we've noticed a few times Chanigan or Pickles has like them figured out, and he yeah. he is able to get ahead of Chanigan every time when they're in the same spot or nearabouts. And Chanigan tries to cycle through all six of them, 
and Pickles mm. just resets properly and avoids it. So it's really, really weird. Chat again, at least remembering exactly where that cube was. Yes, Chat, Crab Cakes! <laughs> uh, Mazer Moon uh, plus whatever it is was on the princess. We were literally yeah. joking about, wouldn't it be funny if Bicky had the Maza right before they talked to Princess and got the Maza? And we're like, well, we were wrong, but we were also right. Uh, and was just in that room, TFC yep. North. Standing and just picked it up. TFC North, the TFC North closet. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like that the names we came up with for all the rooms are sticking. That's good. Yep. We spent a better part of a week as a community figuring out names for all the rooms <laughs> so we could yep. find them better in Archipelago. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, Chanigan not even going for anything in C anymore. He said, hey, you know, heck this place. I'm going to Sky. No, and I figured that was what he's going to do. He didn't want to have to deal with uh, Kraken again. And, I mean, if all the shards are here and he gets what he needs, he still could technically have a lead going into Temple of Fiends Revisited. It's not beyond the bounds of reason, because there's what? I think we pointed out there was like four shards total they found so far. Oh my god. Was that off the power cycle? It sure is. Wow, okay. So and it's missing. That, the level problem... Oh, ouch. Won't be a problem once he has a few more levels under him. He's He's got Don't this... Play. He just needs the right encounter that doesn't hit him. Okay, no, he Scroll can't... God, oh, God, north of 800. Goodness, these are... But things. he got it. Mm -hmm. And that's another 11k that gets him like gets him some. He's gonna, oh. he's not gonna grind here, but I think he if he doesn't get all the levels he oh never mind. Oh, is this back to back blue stake or was that a hard reset? I'm I don't. I he many too fast. I sure. can't tell. Uh, well, his invasion's up too, so now it's hitting him even less. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Hey, Dragon Warrior Randomizer, thank you for raiding with a party of 57. Welcome to Final Fantasy Randomizer here on RPG Limit Break. Happy to see you. Pickles gets through Kraken, no issue. Yeah, well, the death protection. It shouldn't mm -hmm. have been a problem the first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. So for those of you that are just coming in, uh, it's been a close back and forth race. Pickles has made, or Chanigan has made some gambles that in the end didn't always work out for him. He skipped where the rod was and then had to come back and get the rod. He skipped where the chime was and then had to come back and get the chime. The biggest difference maker right now is that Chanigan was, God, Five minutes ahead, basically, of where Pickles is right now, uh, mm. going through C, uh, the thieves have instant death protection, uh, just from how the characters were. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, thanks, Agamas. Uh, have yeah. instant death protection from just how they rolled, and also Quad X isn't. Mm. Shouldn't that be protected too? Yeah, because he has the what? ribbon on. What Power word doesn't matter. I've gotten quad X before with a ribbon on. And okay. the X for hit too. Yeah, oh, X for. Okay, then that's. Okay, that explains. Anyway, so uh, he got all the way to Kraken, and the death protection just failed him on a death touch Kraken. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, just rudeness all around. Yeah, these Agamas, like this. This <laughs> X for hitting and he, like. Yeah, he's going to lose this yeah. again because uh, oh, they're going to quad X him right there. Yeah. Oh boy. He now, needs, if, if he, he wasn't tilted levels. before, now yeah. I'm tilted. He needs more levels for, before he takes that fight. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice fight to have, but I would go get more levels before I do that. Yeah, but you know where the blue stake is, Chanigan. Just go do that. Oh, God. And then this is the other. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no balance to this whatsoever. Wow. Yeah, Saris and I agree. Uh, he should do those blue stakes. Yeah. Pickles didn't see it. Like he didn't or so. Yeah. He saw Steak and Wings, so I don't think he was hard resetting St from where he was. Steak and Wings was up by the tower, because Chanigan got mm. that one as well. So. Yep. And I'm sure he's not going to have any problems with this Agma, because he has, like, six more levels. More than that at this point, I yeah. think. Yeah. And th this. He's over 400 HP. That whole lead that Chanigan had from just skipping back on C and not doing it again, that's gone too. You just got to feel bad for him right now. And the, you know, the difference right there in the RNG two Agamas to four. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Yep, and that's the game. <sighs> so I'm going to try to get a shard count here and see how much of a lead Pickles has with Chanigan leaving all that stuff behind. And Pretty see. sure it's uh, three to four shards. Feels like more than that because That was crackling. Sandworms there on the hard reset. Double Sandworm. Back-to-back sand -back Sandworms. Yeah. Pickles, Pickles has levels. He doesn't encounter. care right now, but... Yeah, he's fine. Let's see. 28. 28. Wow, okay. 
there were a lot of levels in C, and he was already uh, 19, 18 before he even went in. Yep, like, 16 shards for pickles right now. So he is a Tiamat and another 8 shards away. We can need 28, right? He can still do it. Mm -hmm. Nothing in greater than less than feels a little gross shard wise. Gosh, nothing in there at all. No. Oof. Not even the canoe that you were hoping for. Yeah. I'm feeling like canoe's in marsh lock now at this point. <laughs> Fabian pointing out this could snowball. Um, no, yeah, I think this actually absolutely does snowball. Like, he's yeah. got a 10-level lead and the, more shards because he's killed Kraken. Uh, mm -hmm. He is... I... Yeah, Pickles is comfortable right now. Chanigan's got a little bit of work to do. I feel like Chanigan is probably, even right now, like a dive and a half behind. Quite possibly. I mean, the only difference right now is that blue steak is going to catch him up real fast level levels. wise. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to see Pickles, you know, grabbing levels because at 28, he should be just fine. Blue Dragon's a great encounter, Jay Coper, uh, but we found blue steaks back to back on the hard reset. So mm -hmm. if you're going to take a grind, you're going to do that one. Yeah, the only thing with the stakes is they got north of 800 HP, but that shouldn't really matter with once the levels have, we're going to get yeah. in here, I think. What, once you're set up here. Oh, gosh, lobsters. Oh, we power bonked. bonked. Ooh. Is, I think you thought that was the Zeus bonk, but they're not hitting that hard. This they're is not. Okay. No, it's fine. Yeah, if you're in the fight, Jacob, you're right. One swing with this Masa probably takes out the blue dragon. I mean, it's, you know, why not? So he is just going to swing against these guys. I would have figured the, the Zeus bonk would have been better. I don't think he has it on his person anymore. Oh, he, he lost ribbon. it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, wasn't it on Earth? Yeah. Well, he has it, but he moved it okay. off because he's got the power bonk, the ribbon, the armor, and the shield now. That's fair. So, yeah. Well, hopefully he can get through this because they every once in a while they clip him for like 60 when they crit. Yeah. yeah. They can crit because they usually roll multiple hits. Mm -hmm. and, mm. and even with his evasion, he's they're going to get one through once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, Kraken. Eight pack to five pack again here at the RNG. It's funny. That Kraken fight, because he wasn't hitting for anything, and then he's like, oh, but I have Death Touch, by the way, and I'm just going to roll it into you. Yep. Yep, that was. I mean, that was Kraken's play of the game right there. Yep. All right, Chanigan's at eight shards. So he is eight shards behind Pickles right now, and that's not even counting the ones Pickles is picking up here. Yeah. So this well, is a. It's a significant lead, not insurmountable. Chanigan's the kind of runner that can catch up, and Topher is the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, we can run into a, a roadblock in there that's very strong. There were but three. It's, it's a good situation for pickles right now. There, oh, Bane Sword would be nice. Yeah. Uh, there, yeah, there were three. To, that's nine shards. There were three to four um, in the dungeon and four mm -hmm. on Kraken. So that's at mm -hmm. least seven from C that Chanigan is missing. Yep, and all the levels too. And all the levels, yeah. He lost, he lost like eight levels there, which is just yeah. painful. Yep. Well, without the defense, it's almost tempting. Eh. I said almost. Al, please stop doing that. <laughs> Solo thief could be level. I mean. He we could go to level 50 if we wanted. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to need that. But Ow. we could. These tigers. I need you to stop doing that. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, that was the bad part. Okay that was the bad part. We say, and then something happens, I'm sure. Because every time we say it, he's okay, then he's not. But Yeah, right. I feel bad about that one. Yeah. His levels are improving quite a bit. He's back up to 340 HP, so he's in the mid-20s mm -hmm. again, or, or mm -hmm. low-20s, so he's got to feel better about that, but eh, all those shards he left behind, that, that, that hurts. Yeah. That's the big the big time loss right there. Yep. You want every... Oh, okay. Oh, simultaneous canoe pickups here. All right. Pickle's now commandingly in the lead. Yeah, that gives Pickles a little bit more of an advantage, I think. All around. Yeah, Pickles is going to start skipping boxes. He has no need to pick anything else up nope. anymore. Nope, he's good. Shards only at this point. Chanigan's hitting the same route. Mm-hmm. 
Well, yeah, like canoe. They were just looking for that canoe. Too. Yeah, Chanigan's probably done opening non-essential boxes as well. Mm -hmm. It was just the canoe. Yeah. Okay, 33. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, no, he is. He's chonk. Yeah. But since it's just him, you want all those levels. Does Chanigan tech the Warmech fight? I mean, oh, yeah, without a find ruse one. item, I don't know. I, I I don't know if I would have the confidence. Without the ruse, to do that. yeah, no. No, no. If I had the ruse stick, yeah, I'd do it. No, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> it's bold. But, I mean, he knows where the blue stakes are. I don't think so. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's <laughs> see if it pays off or not. Wow, nothing Oof. in the six-pack. Wow, that's a bit of a bummer. Six-pack and less than greater than not paying mm -hmm. off. CC's Gambit has nothing. Oh, boy. And then we got the four greed over here. Yeah. Oh, and no wow. wow, Sky 3 for once did not provide. All the wow. shards confirmed in Volcano. Hello, Delta Angel Fire. Question, how do they know where the shards are or not? So you notice on the boxes, some of them have an X on them, some of them do not. The ones that have an X on them are what we call in the uh, community marked chests or trap chests. So that has um, something in there that we want, depending on what the seed is and the flags. In this case, with the tournament, it's shards. So that has the shards that we need in order to be able to progress in the final dungeon. They, they had the option to turn on marked chests with trap shards, and they did. Yeah. It's not you on by default. You can play trap chests without yeah. marks. You can play unmarked trap chests if you want to, you know. You can play not solid. trapped at all if you want to. The flags do allow for that, but they went mm -hmm. with tra uh, trapped and marked. So, mm -hmm. so it does. I mean, I like it. Um, I know. I'm, oh, in the games that I was playing, we were some of the first in the fl flag set to start playing the with the the marked shards and the marked key items. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you have to fight encounters when you find them, and sometimes that bites you. But at the same time, it means you can do what they just did and skip whole rooms because they don't need to go in there. Yep. It's speed tech. Yep. Benefit and a detriment, depending on where we're at. Right now, it is an absolute benefit. Chang got a nasty little uh, unrunnable that just took time, but then so did Pickles. So yep. oh God, I was worried the hold was going oh to land. God. I'm like, come on, imagine? game, imagine? please. All right, 4 four forty five. Tia hitting like a kitten. And I say that now, worried that we have another death touch out there in the pool. It could happen. 186, hold only, again. Do they only have hold? Looks like hold and melee only. Not much else on this Tia so far. Pretty chonky, though. That's about 1,000 and change. Yeah. That's close to 1,400. This is she a thick beefed tier. up. Oh, oh, God. I was oh, really worried there. God. <laughs> we have a Bane Sword now, though, probably. Yeah, I'd switch so. to Bane Strats. Yeah. There are it's options. A it's a good call. Okay. Okay, that helps Chang and get caught up some. Yeah, he will get in the air. That looks like, what, 13, 14 shards, maybe? That menu was kind of quick, so that's still a pretty... He was at 9, he got... I think there were 3 on the next floor, so mm -hmm. that should have been 12 plus 4, 16. 16, okay. Should be. I could be off by a shard, give or take. Because I'm, I'm trying to go off of memory here, uh, but... We'll see. Still, I think my next play is I go to Volcano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we get in the air and then we go to Volcano. Uh -huh. Volcano is the other chest dense location mm -hmm. that has all, hopefully, more of our shards. And then we really hope we don't have to go back to sea. I mean, we've already cleaned Earth, <laughs> uh, Sea, and Sky. Mm -hmm. And there's got to be another 20 shards out there, right? So they've got to be in Volcano and Ice. Yeah, I think Channing goes to Ice before yeah. he goes back chest to Sea. Densities. As well. Chest density mm -hmm. is there for it, yeah. Right, gonna pick up that crown. That was the Rue stick, so that is nice. We're gonna like that. Probably what he's banking on, too. I don't think, like, with the build they have right now, I don't think he cares as much about Tail. It's nice, but I don't mm -hmm. think he cares as much. Canoe was Sky 2. Yes, Sky it two. was, Jacob. Sky yes. 2, um, one of the spider upper chests. room, asterisk yeah. room, whatever you want to call it. Sky Spider, it's, um, I don't think it was Vault. I think it was the one that was above. That's not Ribbon Room. That's, um... It's above the incentive chest. The incentive. Yeah. Room. Oh, is it the one right across, right above? Then that that's vault. Yeah. Then. Yeah. As as per our naming structure, because that one uh, in the vanilla game is just a bunch of gold. Mm -hmm. So vault. Pickles. Oh, okay. If he went left, he was gonna run smack into Warmack. I mean, it was there. He didn't take it. 
Coward. Yeah, he doesn't need it. He's no, level I'm 34. I'm I mean, kidding. Yeah, sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Own that mech. Come on, you've got yeah. the build. Yep. All right. Give so, the people what they want. That was three full oh. rows, 18, plus I think he had another two or three, so 20-ish shards for pickles. This is a gross unrunnable, just because mm. it's not worth anything and you don't have the spells to get rid of it. Yeah, if we had that Lightning 2 bonk still, mm -hmm. I don't know if that would work here, but eh. Yeah, and it would take about as many rounds of casting mage as it would to just get rid of them. Yeah. I might switch the oh, Zeus boy. on just for this here. Mm -hmm. Just in case you get this again, because you don't want to sit through this. Yeah, I remove that power bonk and then put it back on with mm -hmm. the down carry. Mm -hmm. You don't need it for here. 28 yeah. so far, and he's doing exactly what we suggested. Good man. Yep, yep. smart. Yep. Pickle, seeing the blue stake, gonna take a swing or two. Well, I mean, when you see the blue stake, you take the blue stake. Yeah, yeah. Was it 44? Whoa! Oh, God, he... When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been getting levels the whole time. I think he fought oh, just about yeah. everything that Chanigan fought, but he was already 30 yeah. when he came in. Yeah, no, he, wow. um, he, he pretty much good. Yeah, I think he's, he's good. 600 yeah. HP on this thief. My goodness. That <laughs> yeah, was 30,046. Now, he gained so many levels. Yep. So many levels. Wow. That was redonkulous right there. So he is, um... He'll do the last couple shards here in Volcano he needs. Probably all he needs to do is the Armory. That's um, it, yeah. Yeah, and then he's gonna go immediately at Topher and just raffle through it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still a chance he could have a problem, yeah. but... There's still like, a chance. There's course. a chance. There's but, definitely a chance. I mean, Death Touch is a thing, uh -huh. as we saw. As we saw. There, and, I mean, know? that doesn't preclude any of the bosses being awful and Kraken just being like, I can hit you, hit you for... 600 damage through your absorb so right. yeah like there's no guarantee he gets through on the first dive mm -hmm. but 632 health at level 46 that's a that's a that pretty good start, good. That feels pretty good real start. Good. yeah it feels real good you would hope to be above you know 400 going into temple of fiends right now being yeah, above 600 is a solid an added layer of comfort that you're he's like solid. wow yeah. yeah i feel yeah. good yeah Twenty nine for Chanigan, catching back up in levels. I mean, so. if I were Chanigan, I'd feel good at twenty nine with four hundred health. Honestly, yeah, I feel fine. That, yeah. That's where I would like to go in. So yeah. Pickles is just, you know, that walking freight train. Of course, right they <laughs> Yeah, no, he is. He is doing his best impersonation of a black belt right now. Yeah. <laughs> Burbs. <laughs> Chanigan or Pickles is just like really. This? Really? <laughs> Throwing the wizard stick at him. <laughs> Are you... I love it. Don't what play with your food, okay? <laughs> oh, Jake Cooper. Mosmoon was from Princess at like six minutes. Yeah, no, it was the earliest possible Mosmoon you could have gotten. Garland yeah. put up more of a fight than just about anything else in the early game. Yeah. Yeah. Chanigan flooring it right here, going through these floors, walking on the damage tiles because that does not advance the encounter table. Yep. And we know that there's six encounters in here really bunched together, kind of gross. So I don't know exactly how many shards Chanigan needs at this point. Uh, 12, I think, still. So. Maybe, maybe Where 10. are the shards? Where are they, That is indeed? three I... rooms so far with nothing. I know we had armory, but it was just four in armory. Five, mm -hmm. counting the, uh, the guarded chest. Wow, this is... This, oof. Oh my. Oh, so Ice Cave? Yeah. Or, like, all in the locks and. Oh my god. I mean, we still got Cardia, too. Cardia, yeah. Yep. Was pointing that out as Cardia well. we could have Cardia. it. Fair call. It's a fair call. Um, so we get 19 shards for Channing, and he needs 9. Well, he needs 8, and then eight 2 now. from Carrie. That's 6 at that point. Yep, he so, desperately uh, needs all of them to be in Cardia. I mean, do you. Do you get, get, go get two and then try crack it again? I don't think you do if you're Jan again. I mean, do you, though? I mean, you I know don't. where there's... There, was I, there two shards on you, the way do down Do you there? risk that death touch again? I know it was a three and 256, but you've got to be shook after that. Wow. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still think he does Ice Cave over C right here. Proximity, just to see, but... Pickles I mean, is good. Pickles is going off. We're going to just see exactly how bad Temple of Fiends is going to be for a solo thief at level... 50. 46 something at this point give or take something 
I mean, he had yeah. to take a couple of decent experience fights there for the shards, so... Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. He's He's yeah. gotta be almost 50 at this point. Oh, Carrie would sleep too, that's annoying. And dark. <laughs> Good thing he's got the ribbon. Yep. Alright. So that'll put Shannigan six shards away. Let's see, what are you gonna do, bud? Chant Pickles is burning off everything. Going in. No clue exactly what his level is, but high. Very high. Yeah. 47. My goodness. Turning in the bottle. Which Probably is... Probably gonna get... This is either the ribbon... I don't think he's done the ruse turn in, so... Okay, yeah, he's looking for that ruse stick, which yeah. is the crown. Which is crown. So this slab is gonna be that ribbon, so he's gonna reset out of this he as well. Yep, yep. Wants the tail? I mean, maybe... Doesn't I mean honestly probably not? It doesn't do not any ribbon. Good ribbon part. was on Matoya, so this has to be tail. Mm. My that brain, awful, my brain drove for a second there. Mm. It actually did something. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, care. He, yeah, he's looking Which, for the yeah. ruse item. It, it's the crown. You already have the armor equipped that a, a fighter or a thief could or a ninja could already wear. Mm -hmm. Brain not working. Uh, you already have the armor a ninja could already wear. So now you're sitting there going, um, what do I need the tail for? Yeah. Mazel rolled up. I'm good. Yep. Yep. And even if we promote it now, we're not getting the benefit of that level two nuke or anything, and we, you know, it's it's pointless. Pickles goes to uh, already through to the earth floor. Mm -hmm. Uh, so very speedy for him. Eight hits on that moss. Oh, Forty too. level forty-eight. Yeah. Because Pickles is gonna be fifty by the time this ends. Oh, well, you know, he's gonna get another level here probably because mm -hmm. unless they mute him. Because um, yeah, he's he he has to take this fight. Mm hmm. Neck ladies. Right, Chanigan going to Cardia makes sense. Good bet. Now, after he gets two, we'll see whether or not he decides he wants to do Kraken. More Snack ladies. There's Ooh, two. Okay. So, this, okay. Is, th this is decision time here for him. Ugh. Oh, thanks, game. Yeah, Give me I the ambush you... and then don't let me kill something. I, I think you check the seven pack room. And then you make a choice from there. Mm -hmm. It's fair. Very late shards in this game, though. Yeah. And whenever Cr uh, Chanigan gets his shards, he has to go at that point. I don't think he grinds. No, He's, you He can. feels so behind. Yeah. That Kraken was devastating. Ooh, nuke from Lich with that 600 HP says, ha ha ha. And then he slaps afterwards. Okay. <laughs> and dead. That's exactly what you expect from a Lich. Like, yeah. laughable damage and then dies. Yep, speed bump number one slash two. 33 for Crit Chanigan. This puts him four shards short, we think. Yeah, four shards short. Wow, he's doing it. Yep, I Go like straight this. Too. I, mean, I mean, yeah. This, this is a fast dungeon if you don't open boxes. This is like 90 <laughs> seconds. He, he rings the cowbell. Thank you yep. for that. We needed more yep. cowbell. I got a fever. <laughs> All right, let's see. What does Carrie have for us? Probably not super much. Poison bomb... damage isn't going to do anything. Damage poison is laughable. One bomb. Nuclear. Nuclear. Oh, that's Nuclear. nice to see out of the pool. Okay. Already doing a crap ton of damage. Yeah, she'll probably Bye, go Karen. down after this. Alright, 1500 damage, down goes Carrie. We've seen a nuke and a nuclear already, and damage poison, so this has got to feel... okay? Yeah. Switches on the Zeus for this floor, which is smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you run into the unrunnables mm -hmm. again, that is... Alright. So far, no problems coming into this dungeon. And right, we're up to Kraken. 38 damage hit. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to ruse well, once. Yeah, yeah time. no, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we're, we're, not, we're not worried about this fight. Okay, it is not Two Kraken bonk. that is going to be the problem this time, probably. Three bonk. Swing. Two hits for 287. This Kraken really needs some luck. Oh, still makes Ooh. it through with the hit. Two hits for 560. Okay, that was go. that was a good solid swing right there. <laughs> he just needed his crits to come through. Yeah. 
There's a slightly evasive Kraken, so the promotion with lock one at level or lock two at level one would have been somewhat useful, although somewhat. not needed. He got through it. Kidding and going thief, you have second job, which is not getting ambushed. Oh, Tia leads with a big nuke for 314. Punching and missing, okay. So we need to not see that from Tia again if we don't want to see pickles get reset back to start. Ice two. Can't have back-to-back -back nukes, but could have a nuke now. Chip damage is going to be... Quad spooky. X. Quad X, oh boy. And oh, a cure, cure four. four, okay. Swing. Now, how many spells does she have? Let's see. Still punching and missing. 470, 290, so that's about 800. 12, 50 -ish. Okay, so she's got eight spells, so more than likely he's fine. Yeah, that, that Ooh, hit right one. there did it. Mm -hmm. So he has one major fight away from tying this all up for himself. Mm -hmm. The tying is in, like, putting a bow on it and being done. Mm -hmm. Tying a ribbon around it. Yep. Thank you, because I didn't want to imply that there's a tie going on. <laughs> I realized my verbiage afterwards. All right, here we go. Pickles. Rolling in. Gonna pull chaos. Put in the third ribbon slot. Get I to like see it. Bick up front. Mm hmm and here we go. Alright, Ruse Cra comes out. Chaos doesn't hit for anything, so we're not really worried about his punching. Yeah. Rub doesn't get through. More bonk? No, I mean, if I am if I see a bunch of instant death spells, the thing I'm worried about is that any of them 3 and 256 into me. Mm. He's got a lot of chip damage garbage here. He does. Which is a little spooky. Oh, yeah, uh, no, Chaos does not have spooky. long for this world. Big swing. Okay, 700 plus, 570. We're in north of vanilla-ish range now. Over 2,000. There's a nuke. But it rolled low. L rolled low. 650. And that's Five that. Minutes, 626 damage. Down goes chaos. Get your GGs G out of the chat. Pickles and beer are winner on stream. With a race time, a dot GG time of 113.20 GG's, Mr. Pickles. GG's indeed. Yeah, that was. That was that Kraken. There's no oh, other way to say it. That was Kraken through and through right there. We Pickles. are joined in the booth by our winner on stream, Pickles and Beer. I see you guys chatting in the race room, so, uh, yeah. Kraken. All Kraken. Mm -hmm. GG's, bud. We don't hear you. I'm wondering if your microphone is having issues. Did you charge your headset? <laughs> <laughs> I saw flickers. He'll get there eventually. This is nothing he hasn't done in our group chats for Fall League. Not that I was hoping that Chanigan lost, but we are one step closer to our pub plate for the finals now. <laughs> I'm just I'm putting that out there. Uh, 113.22. Good time for Solithi. Great time. Oh, hey, there you are. GG's, bud. Hey, thanks. I uh, the... didn't think my headset was connected, but the volume was down. Ah, uh, that would do it. <laughs> so you so... didn't see what Chanigan saw, and that was all the difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I heard about the uh, Kraken. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure Chanigan will be talking about that for some time. It was so crazy, too, because mm -hmm. like, he, he punches, and it was, like, for 19 damage, and Chanigan's like, oh, I'm solid, throws out a power bonk, another punch for, like, 30, and we're like, oh, he's good, and then the very next swing, dead. Oh, that it, sucks. It was so just out of nowhere. Yeah. That's just, that's soul-crushing right there. On the flip mm -hmm. side, you had a really nice time going into Topher at, what, level 46? Get to 48 <laughs> on the Earth floor? That was, that seemed like the breeziest dive. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kept it kept throwing rock galls at me, and those are just awesome XP, so I was like, mm -hmm. I'm just taking them. <laughs> so tell us about, tell us about your uh, run through this, your plan, how you felt things were going. Um, I thought it went pretty well. My plan really was to avoid the X boxes as much as possible until I got progression to promote and stuff, but, you know, didn't really have to worry about that because there weren't any X boxes till late. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you feel about that six-minute Moss Man, too. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> with that, and once I got the power bonk in the roost stick i was like yeah i'm not promoting i didn't even want to keep checking uh 
I was gonna stop checking the not X boxes, but like the shard count was so low, I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna get enough out of Sky, so I just had to keep checking boxes to get the canoe. Mm -hmm. We were wondering if canoe was gonna end up in marsh lock the way things were going, and then you guys both pulled it oh, at the same gosh. time, literally at the same time. You both pulled canoe. It was kind of funny. That might have been bad because. I'm pretty sure I probably forgot. I, I probably would have remembered that I hadn't gone there yet, but... <laughs> I was like, I got progression. Like, there are two progressions from the key. So, like, like there can't possibly be anything in Marsh. I'm like, I'm not going back there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Yeah, the, the key items came pretty fast and furious early. Uh, but the defining moment was probably the, the laughable Mazamoon on Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's nice. It makes the, you know, we did a picker brace with the same flags this morning, and it was not the same. <laughs> <laughs> it never is. We had a, I think we were a large dagger plus five for probably the first close to an hour. <laughs> Someone improvement on the small dagger plus yeah. two you guys had right here. Yeah. I actually, I don't, I don't know that I like seeing that because you know, Shannon gets such a strong runner. Like, when I saw that, I was like, well, you know, that's that's nice and all, but Shannon gets it too. Yeah. yeah. Well, and for yeah. sure, every time you got a lead, Shannon caught up almost immediately. The, he faded the rod, which we'll talk to him about. Uh, mm -hmm. He faded pirates, so he faded the rod. Went in, did the first half of Earth, left as you were coming into Earth, went and got the rod, and by the time you were done clearing it, he's actually ahead of you out of Lich. And mm -hmm. it's just like, I mean, some of that, he didn't seem like he was menuing that much faster, but this is Chanigan we're talking about, just the smoothness of his play. It's like, you mm -hmm. need every advantage you can get. And oh, I, yeah. Yeah, and it was just like, every time you got ahead of him somehow, or had some advantage, he almost immediately caught up, or was just had enough time that he could go make up for it afterwards. Just then crack him. Yeah, I the that's not the, like you know that sucks, but the at least with that the C mm -hmm. had like what one or two shards. Three plus and plus crack him himself. Three and crack. Yeah. Did it really have three? Yeah. Yeah. And, but, pretty much yeah, all on mermaids too, I think. That's just three. There was no progression, so like you can always go back in. Did. You, Oh, yeah, with the ru I had I don't know if I roost against Kraken or not. I don't think you did. I don't think I did. Yeah. I don't think you did either. Yeah. Well, but I mean, you had the ribbon that Shanigan did not have at that point as well for that extra layer of protection because he <laughs> faded Matoya for quite a while. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm like especially with the Solo Thief. Like I'm definitely turning in those things. I want you know, ribbon, roostic, power bonk, and then we can do pretty much any dungeon at that point. Mm -hmm. Do want to point out and, and get your thoughts on the encounter table for this seed as well. It seemed like you had a pretty good grasp on it. You were doing a lot of burns before you were walking in places. So did you kind of get a, free, a pretty good feel for that, you know, somewhat early on? Because there was about, what, six encounters or so within a very close proximity and then a gigantic hero run. Yeah, uh, I wanted to... Uh, like with the Soul of Thief, I was going to hit Dwarf no matter what and hit... Uh, ran up there, I hit an encounter right away, and tried to take the Imps and Grimps, and they just didn't want it. I'm like, yeah, this pack's too big. So, mm. reset, hit another, saved, then hit another and another. I'm like, yeah, so we'll at least try to manip this some. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with Unrunnables, Shanigan is now 50. <laughs> Can't even get any, any benefit out of the Unrunnables, just has to keep fighting them. Yeah, he took the blue stakes too. I think he was 48 when he yeah. left there, 49. It's like I'm just I'm one shotting this, or this is not happening. It's going to be one or the other. Yep. No, I've I've felt that. You 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 realize you want to do the dungeon once just to say you did it, but if you die, mm -hmm. you're like, nah, that's it. I'm done. I'm good. I feel really bad now talking about saying Chanigan's going to get out of this dungeon one way or another. Now thinking he had it. <laughs> yeah, you know, after oh, the man. fact, that felt a little yeah. bad. Yeah, that death touch was, a, was something else. Yeah, we were joking about it. Like, win or lose, he's getting through this dungeon, and well, well, yeah. it yeah. happens. Yeah, you don't. You're not expecting that. No, definitely not. Especially after seeing him hit twice for like no damage. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, how often does a touch effect land on a boss? It's so rare. Yeah. 
Alright, working his way through this Calamari. Big hits, uh, slightly evasive Kraken here with this level 50 Thief only doing four hits with lots of crits coming through. Uh, should be one more swing, yeah. Two fights to go, and we really didn't see much that was scary on either of them. Well, that nuke rolled a little higher. The, okay. The, the nuke and the cure four on Tiamat were at least good information. Once that cure four comes out, we know he should be fine. Chaos should not be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Again, ever so slightly evasive. More evasive this time around. Mm -hmm. Realizes there's that, decides to power bomb some more, which good call. Mm -hmm. Just don't want her to get through her spell table, which we know is eight spells deep, so mm, presumably yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see that slow too either. Mm -mm. No. There we go. That's Five hits, 991. Should be soon. There we go. <laughs> there. Eight hits, 820. Down goes Tia. Chan again, one floor away from the final theme chaos. A bajillion heal pots. Nothing to worry about here. Yes, there it is. I like Thank the check-in and I then a victory wondering. lap. That's that's not a move I've seen before. We do it again? I like it. Yeah, we're doing it. Like oh, it. there we and, go. And the mega lap. Chanigan, you <laughs> earned it, my friend. Do it up. <laughs> that's good. I like that. Yeah, oh, I like that's it funny. Too. I wonder if that's sports. I I think it was the when he knocked me out of the upper bracket when I did the uh, slow walk victory laps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two full circles, going back in, saying hi to Garland. Not even going to move his thief because he never does and doesn't care. Ruse stick comes out. Chaos leaves with Rub. That is cute. Ruse is good. Power bomb's coming in. One bonk. A two I mean, bonk. You say rip, Rub is cute, but we've already seen the carnage of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm never Three joking bonks. about that again, okay? No, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm going to be much more careful of my choice of words. <sighs> This chaos is not long for this world. There's the nuke. Good to More see that bonk. out. More bomb. Chanigan gonna try to one-shot this chaos. Apparently. Okay. <laughs> okay. More bomb. <laughs> Win or Someone lose, this swing is doing you in. <laughs> All right. First oh, swing. God, oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Six hits. One thousand twenty-two oh, damage. Uh, 4 hits, 788. That's north of 2,000. Chaos had somewhere between 2,200 and 3,400. Uh, single wow. hit for 389. That was invasive. Alright, so that's 3,000. So he does have north of 3,000. There we go. Uh, 3 hits, okay. 609. Down goes Chaos. Get your GGs out for Chanigan. Joining us in the booth. How you doing, buddy? You. <laughs> <laughs> uh... oh. <laughs> GG Chanigan. <laughs> GG's, <laughs> bud. Uh, so, um, about the, those uh, Death Touch uh, enemies. Uh, oh, boy. I have yeah. a hate letter. That was so rough. It was so bad, oh, man. Like, yeah. we're talking, like, you know, and I, I said to Darkman, you probably heard me. And, like, I'm always getting out of this dungeon one way or another. And then... <laughs> and then... And then sure enough, I'm, friend, I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, what sucks is that Thief had death protection. I yeah. know. And like, why? <laughs> oh, man, that was just something else. I mean, uh, I just dropped my controller when I died. I'm like, <laughs> I almost wanted to forfeit. Yeah, my dear. no, we uh, feel that. I mean, we... there, there was a chance you could pull it back. If there was yeah. a bad Topher or something, but like yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. We were sitting there going, "That's a ten to fifteen minute loss," and as much as we don't want to say it, that might just be the game right uh, there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was like fifteen minutes almost. Yeah. That was yeah. so painful. Yeah. Um, that and me skipping, <laughs> skipping Biki <laughs> because I didn't oh, want boy. all day for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh, the only reason yeah, but... why I skipped it and. Yeah, Dan. Free couple levels, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, Just put a rubber band around the A button. Rubber band the A button and go pour yourself a drink. <laughs> I mean, that's what I did. <laughs> you that did, doesn't shock me. You did save time <laughs> on it, though, because you had a, a casting item. So yeah. that went real yeah. quick for you. Yeah. Yeah, but it didn't save the, the five minutes it took me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out. He had to find the mage stick and the Zeus bonk and Earth to go oh. back and do it, though. Mm. 
<laughs> Every time you faded something, it proved to be something you needed, and I felt so yeah. bad for you. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, what a seed. Uh, <laughs> the muss uh, on yeah. several was just a cherry on top of the cake. Oh, my well, God. It I mean, good, man. <laughs> when you think about it, the math was there that if Sarah could have the Mazza that early and, what, out of 220 chests, yeah. Kraken could have a death touch that went through. I mean, the math was yeah. there. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Stupid we game. always <laughs> meme and joke about Danny a bit with the seed she rolls. And, you know, you know, sometimes we see things that we've never even seen before. Even oh, still. man. <sighs> Danny, yeah, give us a like it. <laughs> yeah, th that Massa, it was Bane, Sword Chest, and Sky when mm -hmm. I had that moment where I'm like, why are you prepping for <laughs> Surprise Vormek in a box? <laughs> He's not gonna be here. <laughs> a whole seed until the bane sword chest. I'm healing up and making sure I have the like the power bonk on. Mm -hmm. And then it hit me. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> see it. Oh, uh, that's man. wild. Uh, that seed was was so f bad. <laughs> <laughs> it had a lot of really interesting uh, points. Uh, there was some minor yeah. emergencies here and there. <laughs> Um, but you guys were, you know, slapping hands and, and high-fiving through the majority of this. You even both picked up the canoe at the same time, literally, oh, yeah. which that was kind of funny. That but, uh, was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sea shrine of sadness. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, it wasn't fun. It wasn't yeah, fun. I did yeah, ask us about pickles. But, Shanigan, what was your thoughts on the encounter table, too? Because you guys were running. Oh, that was but uh, <laughs> I hated the first I think it was the first six encounters yep, yeah yeah like six. right one after the other and then like 200 step of nothing yeah I well, it helped you get out of earth encounter. though that wasn't so bad yeah <laughs> that, that hero run was God, delightful I hated it yeah yeah I tried to time it uh like in in sea and earth cave Mm -hmm. uh, but Jesus, <laughs> I hated that encounter table <laughs> it was rough it was definitely rough no, uh, other than that, it was really the Kraken. Yeah, Kraken the was the deciding Kraken. factor. That, mm -hmm. It's Jesus. weird to say, Kraken 1 was the gatekeeper. Yep. No, yeah. uh, you don't see that very often. No. I mean, you, you could have rused. <laughs> oh, no, you could. you didn't, <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't. He didn't, didn't have it. Well, I skipped the uh, crystal for so long. <laughs> yeah. No crystal and no ribbon because he faded yeah. the crown and he faded the, uh, the crystal because he's yeah. a bad lad. <laughs> yeah. And no, I didn't bought the crown for Rustic yep. when I went to Crescent. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, did you, you go that early or late? I, I went early. I uh, I looked at the um, the shop. I'm like, ah, oh, crown, 17k. Uh, I have a the Excal to sell. Uh, I'll go sell it. And then right after, I'm like, I checked the Sages. I'm like, I don't need to be here. I just reset. Mm -hmm. I'll look at the crown later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I went after Earth and... I was like, eh, I'm still wanting the roost stick in the tail. So I went and turned it in when it was the roost stick. I'm like, yeah, I'm not worried about promoting at this point. Yeah, I yeah. never I never would have uh, promoted. No, we knew with that nice. early massa. We were starting yeah. to talk about that when you were in Elfland the first time with the plus six uh, iron helm and a couple other things. Yeah. I'm like, if you find the ribbon, that's nice. But I think if I, if I didn't even find any other gear... I might just risk Topher at this point yeah. anyway with this build out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And with the death poison and time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You had half a ribbon to start. Yeah, because it was so that. helpful, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> 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 I still hate this Kraken. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> this Kraken is going to go down in infamy for a while oh, yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that okay. was something, man. You've seen well, a lot of things in this randomizer community over the last few years, oh, and yes. it still never Jesus. tends to disappoint. We see something new all yep. the time. Yep. So, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, Pickles, you are the winner. So, final thoughts from you. You, uh, Of course, obviously, we should ask how you're going to feel about going to face off against Mr. Practice himself, Caleb, in finals here for the lower bracket. But also, you know, final thoughts in general. Anything else you want to share? Uh, uh, GG again, Chan again, and Thank you, uh, Dark Moon Luffy and Ganoff for putting this on. And uh, yeah, well, uh, maybe we'll get a uh, pre uh, pre game day race in tomorrow morning. 
<laughs> He's always around. I'm <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm sure we'll probably do... Uh, he had said something about four fighters in the... Mm. Earlier, Ooh. so... Uh, we'll That's probably crazy. do... I'm sure we'll do something par some party dance for sure. Really fun. <laughs> Chan again, it's gotta be bittersweet. Getting kicked out right now when you were close to the end, and to have it happen by cracking one of all people. Any final <laughs> thoughts from you on this? Um, almost the same as Pickles, really. Uh, GG, I get Pickles. Um, I'm happy you're the one that uh, kicked me out of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Better be a, a partner than there. <laughs> I don't know. That's but, how I uh, felt when he beat me too. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, almost, we almost need a uh, third race, you know, to have a best yeah, of three. True. <laughs> well, we got the uh, the uh, extra credit. Um, extra credit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can always do something stupid there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I I asked for solo team, so eh, we'll never know. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, want to thank you guys again for commentating, tracking, and everything. Uh, that was a fun tournament. Really loved. Uh, didn't like the flags at first, but they grew on me uh, after mm -hmm. time. I think that's for a lot and of people. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and really such a good tournament. I'm um, pretty hard for the uh, the rest of the year. Yes, it's going to be a good one. Uh, Luffy, I'll kick it over to you in just a second, but of course, mm -hmm. I have to do the speech. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, come to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. There you can find the randomizer, as well as uh, links to our Discord and the development Discord resources, the wiki, everything you need to get into it. We do have, in just a few races at this point, because it's coming up later this month and we only have a few races left in this tournament, the Duck Boot Camp. That is our new tra uh, player training thing brain just died on me again <laughs> our new player training program there we go that's the word i was looking for my speech is so professional uh we teach you everything over the course of six weeks you need to know to play this game and then we give you your own tournament to play against other new players the duck derby so that you can experience tournament settings see how things are going to go and come be a part of the community we want you here come be part of final fantasy randomizer and with that i'm gonna shut my brain off and let luffy take so <laughs> Again, yep. Yeah, thank you, Dark Moon. Uh, looking forward to that duck uh, boot camp and derby coming up around the corner. Saracen's put in a lot of work there, and I'll be uh, there to help him out as well. So shout out to Saracen for putting that together. Very excited to get that going. Uh, thank you to both of our runners. Chanigan, you put on a heck of a show. The Kraken of Sadness got you, but it did not take away from your awesome race tonight. Uh, great job on the tournament. Pickles, GGs, um, two of my friends, my Fall League partner. It's always fun to see you guys go at it. So thank you both for the great race. Thank you, RPG limit break for allowing us to borrow your channel and do the thing tonight thank you to chat for showing up and thank you to giga for pushing the buttons and doing the things and not last but not least my cocom and restream buddy dark moon for doing all the good stuff um come on and hang out with us it'll be a good time with that duck derby in a couple weeks and with that we're gonna go on and get out of here so thank you everybody for joining us tonight for final fantasy randomizer winter robot wars chaos wing x semi-final lower bracket ggs to pickles and with that everybody we're gonna get on out of here so i'm luffy for dark moon giga and the rest of us ciao and chillax everybody final fantasy randomizer fam we gone <laughs> <laughs>